Hello everyone, welcome to Mark Bank. In this particular video, uh, we are going to solve some doubts from percentage that you were given yesterday. I hope that you have gone through the problems and you have tried on your own to solve these. I am going to take uh, two three problems uh, from them. Rest, you should try to solve on your own, right? So in this problem, what is that they are talking about? There is there is a village or a town. The population is given to you as uh, two lakh forty five thousand, and this population is increasing by twelve percent in the first year and fifteen percent in the second year. What is the meaning of uh, population getting? increased by 12% in the first year and 15% in the second year so this is nothing but this is nothing but a successive change right this is nothing but successive change first the population is increasing by 12% and then it is increasing by 10% so if something is increasing by 12% can you see that population first is what 245000 and then after after one year after first year or one year it will become 112 percent of 245000 right because uh, 100% population is there and it is increasing by 12% so this becomes 100 plus 12 112% what would happen after 2 years after 2 years this is where the catch is after 2 years the population will be 15 it is going to increase 15% of this that is the meaning of successive change so if it is increasing by 15% of this this would become nothing but 115% of 112% of 24500 right now the rest of job is 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 the solution how good you are with your cal calculation part is more important now the only thing that we need to understand is it is increasing by 12% in the first year and 15% in the second year Now, if we have to solve it, what do we write? How do we write percent? Percent is nothing but one over one, over one hundred, right? Now, this is one one two over one hundred, and this is two four five triple zero. So, can you see that these triple zero can very easily be cancelled? Now, this becomes what? Five two zero, and uh, this becomes this becomes fifty six. This becomes five one zero, and this becomes twenty three. So now this is twenty three times fifty six times two forty five. Can you see this is a pain area? Even if you know everything, you are taking a lot of time to solve this problem. Another another way, another way to solve this problem could be what? If the population is increasing by twelve percent in the first year. And fifteen percent in the second year, since this is a successive change, so whatever this is going to be will be more than twenty-seven percent. It is going to increase more than twenty-seven percent. I am not applying any other thing. I am just applying common sense. I am just trying to eliminate the options. So twenty-seven percent of two four five triple zero would be what? Two lakh forty-five thousand would be would be more than some sixty thousand. Would be more than some sixty thousand, and if it is going to be more than something that is sixty thousand, can you see that this is going to be very very close to some three three lakh ten thousand? So even I am not trying to solve the problem. I am just trying to eliminate my options. Increasing by twelve percent, increasing by fifteen percent would be more than twenty seven percent. Twenty seven percent is more than twenty five percent. Twenty five percent is one fourth. One fourth of this value is around sixty thousand. So my population is anyway going to be more than three lakh, but a, a bit more than three lakh. My option is there. You understand what I'm saying? This is nothing but the very first option. 
I hope you're understanding. The, if you need to find out what is the actual change, actual successive change, where we apply AB formula. This is what A and B are two successive percental changes, and and after two, what is going to be the value? So A is twelve percent, B is fifteen percent, and this would be nothing but twelve times fifteen over one hundred. and this comes out as 28.8% and that is the actual change after two successive years i hope that you have understood the solution part now let us try to see the second problem in the second problem they say that there will be 20% depreciation in three successive years say my value is 100 there is a there is a product the value is 100 rupees first 20% would the 20% is has gone down so 20% is how much 20% is as i told you that 20% is what 1 upon 100 and this is nothing but 1 by 5 one fifth value is gone if one fifth value is gone how much you are left with if 20% is gone you are left with 80% 80% is what 80 upon 100 how do we write 80 upon 100 is nothing but 4 over 5 so 4 fifth of 4 fifth of 100 rupees will be left after first depreciation of 20% so how do we write it 100 4 over 5 now you must appreciate that another depreciation would occur over this total so this would another become 4 over 5 another depreciation would occur over this because they are talking about three successive depreciations if if you solve this you're going to have what 51.2 rupees so initially the value was 100 now the value is 51.2 rupees you understand what, what is your answer if somebody wants to solve this problem through ab formula so as i saw so, as i told you that ab formula is nothing but 20% depreciation 20% depreciation and 20% depreciation there are three successive depreciations in ab formula one has to be mindful of writing depreciations or decrement in negative so a is first a is 20% b is minus 20% so try to solve this for these two you're going to have what negative 20 negative 20 plus and this gives us negative 36% just just be careful this this negative times negative becomes a positive value now this negative 36 should be applied with the with the another 20% so this comes out as negative 36 negative 20 plus this comes out as this comes out as this If you solve this, you're gonna have you're gonna have because uh, one ja five ja five this becomes seven point two. It this total would be negative forty eight point eight percent. So what is the meaning of this negative sign? That this value has gone down by forty eight point eight percent. If it has gone down by forty eight point eight percent, so what is that you're left with? You're left with this value, and that is nothing but fifty one point two percent. so if there is a there is a depreciation of three successive 20% what is that you are going to be left with after these three 51.2% i hope that you have understood it now in this problem sum of two numbers is given to you say the for example a plus b is given to you as 2 4 9 and 0 since there are two distinct variables we need to have two solutions to find out the exact value of these two variables and and it also says that 6.5% of a is nothing but 8.5% of b what can we do 6.5 the meaning of percent is what on 
and of in mathematics is a this comes out as 8.5 upon 100 into b so this 100 100 is gone from these two sides 6.5 and 8.5 can we write this to be what 13a equals to 17b right so a comes out as a comes out as 17 over 13b if you try to put this in the summation form you will be having the exact value of b so can we say that this is 17 over 13 b plus b would be 2 4 9 and 0 right so this comes out as 30 over 13 b comes out as 2 4 9 0 so we can find out what is the absolute value of b absolute value of b will be 13 over 30 times 2 4 9 then this is nothing but 83 now the value of b will be 13 into 83 and that comes out as that comes out as 1079 so if you know what is the value of b can you find out what is the exact value of a that would be nothing but 2490 negative 1079 i hope you have understood the solution the the take away from this problem is the take away from this problem is percentage is written as the percentage is written as 1 upon 100 the percentage is written as 1 upon 100 and of is written as of is written as multiplication in mathematics i hope that you have understood the solution if still you feel that there is some doubt that you have that is not solved yet you are you are very much welcome to come back to us on faculty at the rate of mockbank.com we will be more than happy to clear your doubts thank you very much for watching this video Take care. Bye bye.